Hello! In today's video, we are going to learn about watch lists in Microsoft Sentinel. A watch list is a tool used to manage and monitor lists of important entities such as users, IP addresses or devices which you want to keep a close eye on. To create one, you can either download available templates and fill them out or create our own. In my case, I am going to create a new one based on the terminated accounts. Let's give it a name and alias. Now we can upload the file. Again, in my case, I created a few simple columns in Excel based on the terminated user template. As you can see, it will auto-populate on your right, so you have a preview of what it will look like. The purpose of this specific watch list is to later query the sign-ins to ensure that the terminated user wasn't able to access any companion data. Search key is important step here, as it will allow us to join the watch list with other logs. In my case, I am going to assign it to the user principal name. Once the watch list is created, we can update it manually by editing the watch list items, bulk update it from the CSV file or do it automatically using logic apps based on your criteria. It can of course work the other way around and we can automatically remove users from the watch list, for example, once they are removed from the Entra ID group. We can also see the watchlist items in log analytics and most importantly query the data. For example, I have a simple KQL that will run signing logs information from the past 30 days to show us if users from the terminated watchlist attempted to sign in into their accounts and whether that was a successful or not. The structure of the KQL is quite simple here. We start by getting the watchlist. We created and projecting the search key, which is the user principal name. Then we query sign-in logs for the past 30 days and join the watchlist items with sign-in logs based on the user principal name. As you can see, we are getting the results showing terminated accounts logging in. This information is really good for auditing purposes and if needed, you can create an alert or incident in Sentinel to notify you via email when this occurs. Congratulations! Now you know the basics of creating watchlists in Microsoft Sentinel. Happy hunting!